Hello everyone, I'm Iriris. Today I'm going to talk about Detective Conan. I want to discuss Wakasa Rumi today. Wakasa is the Class 1B Deputy Homeroom Teacher at Titan Elementary School. Let's begin by taking a look at the manga chapters where Wakasa appeared in. The Old Warehouse of Titan Elementary School Wakasa first appears in the manga in Chapter 966. She gives off the impression of being clumsy, shy, and cowardly at first. The detective boys help Wakasa in obtaining quicklime from the old warehouse in the schoolyard. But they unintentionally find a dead body here. Over the course of the case Wakasa uses her clumsiness to give hints to Conan on how to solve the case. But when Wakasa was alone with the criminals, her personality completely changed. She defeated three criminals on her own. Wakasa also saw the watches Agasa gave the kids in manga chapter 966. Genta also mentioned that Agasa gave them a detective badge with a transmitter. Wakasa Rumi's Neighbor Murder Case Wakasa overhears an argument between her neighbor and his girlfriend as she was leaving for school and smiles. Later she accidentally destroys a picture that was going to be used for a school play and she says that she will redraw it. Conan and the detective boys accompanied her to help. After they finish, Wakasa treats them to dinner. But when they hear loud sounds from the neighbor, they goes over to check it out and finds a dead body and an unconscious man. Later, at Wakasa's apartment, Conan finds a receipt. Wakasa invited them to her house because she foresaw an incident. The culprit tries to escape after Conan reveals who he is, but Wakasa pretends to fall and captures him. While waiting in front of the door, Journalists take photos of Wakasa. We see Karada and Wakita reading the news about Wakasa in the newspaper at the end of the episode. Burning Tent Murder Case The detective boys and Wakasa go camping in this episode. Conan is seen thinking at the beginning of the episode. Wakasa Rumi Sensei Class 1B's assistant homeroom teacher. A few days ago, we were unexpectedly called to Sensei's apartment and accidentally encountered a murder case which had been perpetrated by her neighbor. But. In her room, I found a receipt from a shop which had that morning's date printed on it and I saw she'd bought additional plates and mugs that day. It could only mean that she'd sensed that a murder was going to take place, she wanted to have us encounter it and invited us to her apartment to fix the folding screen which she ruined on purpose. No. Not us. Maybe her target was me? Besides, during the case where we found a skeleton in the old warehouse, the door to the basement, which Puposli had not been touched for years, felt completely new and rust-free. Which means she discovered it beforehand and called me down there so I'd be involved in the case. And maybe this camp is also... When they approach a group cooking curry over a fire nearby, one of them mentions that he has an injured eye and nearly had to get a prosthetic eye. Wakasa feels outraged by these words and keeps something in her back pocket. Conan notices that Wakasa holds something in her back pocket. The Hybra sensor is activated at this time. A little bit later one of the other campers is burned alive inside his own tent. Kuroda emerges from an adjacent tent and asks Wakasa whether the police should be called. However, Wakasa is standing in stunned silence, staring forward. When she snaps back to reality, Hybra seems to notice that Wakasa can't see out of her right eye. Conan starts to wonder if Wakasa is clumsy on purpose or that she cannot see so she is clumsy. When Kuroda seems to know the order that everyone introduced themselves in, despite originally claiming to have had earplugs in while sleeping, Wakasa accuses him of spying on someone. Wakasa has the detective boys build an acorn balance toy, which leads to the solution of the case. 
After Conan and Kuroda uncover the culprit, the culprit uses Ayumi as a hostage, Wakasa manages to distract him long enough for Kuroda and Yumanaga to arrest him. Kuroda showed interest in the intimidating words that Wakasa used to distract him. When the criminal is caught, Conan asks Hybra if she noticed Wakasa's eye. However, Hybra tells Conan that she likes Wakasa. On the other hand, Conan becomes more suspicious of Wakasa and notices a strange object in her back pocket that has a shape similar to that of a shogi piece. Crimson School Trip Case At the end of the case, news of Shinichi being one of the detectives that had solved the case spread to the internet. Both Kuroda and Wakita were shown seeing the information on their phones. However, Wakasa was shown sitting in the dark looking at the APTX victims list on her laptop, with a smirk on her face. The names Shinichi Kudo and Koji Haneda appear to be highlighted. Additionally this is the first time we see her without a shirt on and she has scars on her upper arms as well as her back. Missing Maria Higashio Case Wakasa makes an appearance in this case, asking Hybra about Shinichi and if Hybra has met Shinichi before. Later, a shogi piece that looks like promoted bishop is lying next to her computer, while she reads a blog. Edible Wild Plants Collecting Case Wakasa and Kobayashi take the detective boys out to collect edible plants. Later, while Ayumi and Zenda are searching for Zenda's earring, Conan, Hybra, and Wakasa find Fukakoshi's body under the tree just next to the rear of the car. Yamamura arrives and investigates the scene. He finds out that when the detective boys took a photo immediately after arriving, there was no corpse under the tree. Yamamura's assistant then reveals that Fukakoshi is a marriage swindler wanted by the police. Wakasa detects the scent of blood blown by the wind and immediately thinks about Koji's death. At the mention of good luck charms, Wakasa remembers back to when Koji said, with the watchtower bishop, you can be sure of making a good move, while holding up a shogi bishop. Then he says, so you slash they're going to kill me despite that? She then remembers him dead, with some sort of blood pouring out of his mouth, and she calls him a foolish person, while pressing down on her right eye and crouching down on the ground. Conan sees her pressing down on her right eye and seems to connect it to an eye disorder. Wakasa sees Conan tranquilizing Yamamura to make his deduction and gives a slight smirk. When Ayumi gives a four-leaf clover to Wakasa, saying that because Wakasa is clumsy she needs good fortune, Wakasa waits for the detective boys in front of her to look away, except Conan who is standing behind her looking at her, and throws away the four-leaf clover. Conan notices her doing this and appears angry at her for it, or cognizant why she does not feel she needs it, as Wakasa's face is in shadow. Trapped at Hatoyama Farm Wakasa and Kobayashi take the detective boys out to Hatoyama Farm to collect chicken. During the trip, Wakasa mentioned the words, Karasa being black, sly and a conspirator, causing Conan suspicious of her as she might personally know Renya Karasuma as ROM candidate. They meet up with Amuro who is also going to the farm with another purpose. She seems to have a strange glare upon hearing Amuro is a detective. Later, they receive a call from the detective boy's badge, knowing that Conan, Ayumi, Mitsuhiko, Kobayashi, and Amuro gets trapped inside the farmhouse's cellar as the farm's owner brother uses Ayumi as a hostage and calling them for the police. However, they are unable to contact police by their phone. Also, Wakasa noticed the shogi piece which has been kept on her back pocket is missing and realize it has been picked by Amuro according to Genta. When Amuro sees the shogi piece, he thinks. The shogi prodigy, Haneda Koji who died mysteriously in America 17 years ago. After that incident the only thing missing from his personal effects was the bishop he always carried around with him as a good luck charm. According to the cold case files from our PSB training that bishop was the least piece he moved the first that he won against his teacher. His family said our son would never willingly have parted with that piece. 
Whoever has it must be the murder. The shape of the crack and the calligraphy on this bishop are extremely similar to the one I saw in the photos back then. Don't tell me Haneta Koji's murderer is here with us on this farm? After Conan are rescued from the cellar, Wakasa used the badge as a bait to lure Muro back into the cellar and knocked him out in order to retrieve the shogi piece. Wakasa mentioned to Amuro that she lost her grip and let go for the trap door cutting all the light, which caused him missed a step on the stairs. However, Hybera notices the shogi piece in Wakasa's pocket. Kagoro in a dilemma Amuro is seen have a picture of Wakasa which is taken from the preview case. He suspects that it was Wakasa who attacked him to take the shogi pieces that he took earlier. Akemi Mayano's Time Capsule Wakasa, Kobayashi, and the detective boys meet the Titan Elementary School alumni as they are holding a reunion party. When one of them mentioned Akemi Mayano was also attended in the school before, he mistaken Hybera as Shiho Mayano, her younger sister which he seen before. Wakasa thinks while Conan and Hybera discuss Akemi in whispers. Mayano Akemi Mayano Shiho. The one who took over the research of that drug, and the one who betrayed the organization. The daughter of the Hell Angel, is this child? Impossible. When Conan rush outside the classroom to find any suspicious person passed by due to someone triggered Hybra's anxiety, Wakasa witnesses Wakita leaving as he delivered the sushi. Beach House Murder Case. Then Detective Boys wants to go to Shizuoka. But since Agasa is sick, Wakasa and Okiya Subaru take them to Shizuoka. Wakasa pointed out that Subaru was wearing clothes that covered his neck and also that he didn't sweat in the face. Subaru asks about Wakasa's scars on her body. In Chapter 1097 as well, Wakasa stated that Subaru seemed trustworthy and familiar to him. We learn in chapter 1099 that this is about Sutomu, not Akai. Wakasa had this to say about this to say about Elena. I had a feeling that she looks like daughter of certain woman who ruined my life. Hybera gives details on the medication the murderer used just before the scene. Then Wakasa asks this question. Wakasa beats up the gang members at the end of the episode. On her hand, though, are a few little scars. These marks were seen by Conan and Okia Subaru. I made a more detailed analysis video for these chapters. If you want, you can find it here. The manga episodes where Wakasa has so far been seen. To summarize what we know, she is a skilled fighter. She has also shown her reasoning and deductive abilities, giving hints to Conan to solve a case. She probably has better deductive and reasoning skills than Conan has. She knows what Agasa has produced. The Floodlight Watch and the Tranquilizer Watch are both known to Akasa. I think she is also knowledgeable of the Voice Changer. After some research, Bourbon had found it. I think Wakasa searched for it and found it. Her question to Subaru confirms this. Her name or face have a certain something about them. Rom and Kuroda both reacted to the news in the newspaper. Conan suspects her. Kuroda seems to have some doubts about her. Rom, on the other hand, thought she was interesting. The Hybera sensor is activated. She undoubtedly has a connection to the organization. Wakasa can't see with one eye. Hybera and Conan realized this. She has a list of APTX victims on her laptop. She has scars on her upper arms as well as her back. Wakasa has a connection to the Haneta Koji incident. She always carries Haneta Koji's shogi piece with her. Amuro suspected that the murderer of Haneta Koji might be on the farm. He suspects that it was Wakasa who attacked him to take the shogi pieces that he took earlier. 
Hybera is aware that Amuro was knocked out by Wakasa. Wakasa may know Karasama. Although she has heard the names of both Akemi and Shiho, she does not know their faces. Elena is known to Wakasa. However, she dislikes Elena. Wakasa likes Tsutomu. Wakasa is aware of Hybera's medicine knowledge. Hybera likes Wakasa. I hope I didn't miss anything. So what do you think about Wakasa? Please share your views with me in the comments. That's it for today. Thanks for watching the video till the end.